I woke up to this. This is Zara, this is my turn. Hello all my beautiful people, I hope you're doing well. I'm here in Cappadocia and it is fantastic. So I will stay here for probably one, one and a half week or something like that and then we'll continue to the coast. So I won't record every single day when I'm here, I guess I will just do one video of everything I explore. So I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, we're on the way to the Love Valley. <laughs> it's very sandy, and this is a challenge for me. It is Christina and Sand. <laughs> we don't go really hand in hand yet. We will, I'm sure. So, what do you think is called the Love Valley? Do you have any clue? <laughs> I found some caves here, I think. Huh. Okay, okay. Can I go in here? I think so. <sighs> wow. But I don't understand, how do they? How did you get up there? Oh, <laughs> you see people? I'm gonna step up and here you have the grip. Grip, foot, foot, grip. I'm not sure how they got up there, like in the past. Oh, this place is so cool.
Isn't this pretty amazing? Eh? The sunset. Ah, magic. And there we have the red mountains, the red valley. Camping, camping for the night. And yes, I said that I will camp one night out because I want to see the balloons in the morning. I want to wake up with the balloons, and I really hope it's going to be tomorrow. I'm not sure. I've been cancelling them for several days now, but it looks like the wind's gonna be a little bit less tomorrow, so I give it a shot. Otherwise, it's just nice being outside. Yes, indeed. And I'm not going far, I'm just gonna go for the panorama view, basically. So it's like two minutes driving something like that so it's gotta be a short one but yeah I had a really good day today all these days it's been super super good okay so here comes a little bit the road which is a little bit aggressive but I think I can do that no problem it's just if there's coming any any jeeps that's a little bit harder because have to need to have some speed on this this route, you know. Boy, the... So okay, that was the tough part to get up on this hill in the sand. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've almost fallen on this in Cappadocia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like uh, 10 times per day, but I never fell, you know, I'm always on the way. <laughs> it is what it is. I hope I have everything with me, by the way, otherwise it's not that far to go back. Surely you'll be alright. Let's see how many tracks and cars there are over here, first of all. Awkward. I could stay there. 
very close to the road and all the, the cars gonna come. These guys have the best spots. The two trucks there, they've been staying here for a week now. So that was the first aid to do a very bad. Here's a big field as well, but I think here is the balloon where they're gonna start them. Or some of them. Oh no, sorry, this is the wrong spot. This is the place where I'm gonna go. Exactly. So what about here? Spot somewhere, but I don't know. I don't know. No, no, I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 no. Could perhaps go here, but I don't have a spot. I would like to have a spot with my tent somewhere. Maybe I just go here. I could. Put her there. Like in the front here. Like that. Good work. I changed my mind. <laughs> this is much better. So I have a little bit more sunset, I have amazing view there, less garbage, that was the thing, it was trashy over there, and it's a little bit less sound from the traffic. So let's do it! beautiful people another day another opportunities good morning have a look here Up to this. This is Zara, this is my tent, and this is like 200 people around. Yep. <laughs> Epic fail. Would you like your nana? People, people, people. Yeah. This is all my belongings, you know, so it's a little bit scared, that's why. But what you gonna do? You gotta trust people and open up. That's what I do. Embrace it. <laughs> and somewhere in here, Sarek is. <laughs> they are leaving now, so whew, I can start packing my stuff and continue my journey here a little bit. Poor Sarik. So many people touched her and tried to take photos of her and sit on her. I didn't feel comfortable with that, you know. I mean, I helped some guys taking photos with her, but that was it, and I felt a little bit too much. Too much people stepping on my tent and touching my bike and my stuff, and I couldn't control it, so... Yeah, I didn't like that. But I met some cool people as well here. It's interesting to see this part of the tourism. I used to study tourism planning, so I was right in the middle of this <laughs> jungle of people. But now they're leaving, so I have peace and quiet again, and no selfie sticks and uh, dresses and fancy cars and uh, 200 cameras around me, so I feel a little bit better. But I know, people are on vacation, they spend a lot of money to do this and everything, so of course they want to take the perfect photo and stuff like that, but I was just in the wrong place, <laughs> in the wrong time. So, 
you gotta respect that and choose another place another time you know but hey it's so beautiful with the sunrise wow oi, oi, oi. I love it What a beautiful morning. Oof, it is so nice. Uh, I think I will go and have a Turkish coffee somewhere. I felt like that. It was a long time ago I drank a Turkish coffee. I think this town is so pretty. Aya, aya, so beautiful. Beautiful. Here we have some garbage driving around. Oh, Excuse me, we are in Huh? We are in Oh, Scandinavia. Scandinavia. Uh, you are living in Turkey? I live in, in Gorama. Gorama. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> but we it's are nice waiting to come for, here. We are waiting for you. Yeah, that's yeah. so nice. It's nice to come here. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's really nice to come here. It's less touristic, you know. Yeah. It's more I, the real Turkey. We are also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cold right now. I'm freezing my ass off. Ooh. Yeah, this is the reason why I'm heading south now. It's been a great time here and I really like it here. But yeah, I had to go south because it's warmer there and since it's gonna snow in a couple of days. So I took my chance and I, I go. You know, I've been staying here for a long time now. Over a week, two weeks. It's been so good. Just taking my time, relax. Ah, no, just have a place for a while, get to know some people, share some ideas with some other travelers, and get some connections. So thankful for that. It's a great time here. I shall be back one day. Oh, this sunset! <laughs> so beautiful! I think if I come back, or when I come back, I will stay there, in that place. Looks like a statue. So... I've been uh, taking care of two cats, or I tried to, to treat them. There was a, a girl who came with a bag filled with medicine and she told me that I could um, help the cat with them. So there was some antibacterial uh, spray, and a special spray for this guy, the black cat. Because he had something in the left eye, so he couldn't open it. But now I'm sprayed every day for basically 
three days maybe and it's wide open see? Left eye is open yeah. and this guy uh, has something in the mouth so I uh, spraying the mouse as well because it's bleeding a little bit so that's what we do we help each other yay good morning all the beautiful little cats yes so just a normal morning here at the hostel I'm waking up I'm feeding these guys and you see the blackie your eye is really good succeed your mouth is still not really 100% but we still keep on going. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So these are the two things I use for the cats. This one is for the fluffy one here, and this one is for the eye for the black one. So yeah, it's so well, doing very well. We just need to spray this guy, and I don't like it. You don't like it. Oh, I will miss you, Kitty, but I'm so happy that your eye is working so well again. The left eye is on. Yay! So, a little food. So, thank you so much for joining my adventure from Sweden to Nepal. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and join my Patreon family as well. There's more behind the scenes stuff with exclusive material there. So, take care, and I see you soon.